Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News, June 7th, 2023. Stand up for your country. Well, we have a story you're not going to hear anywhere else to lead the program this evening, and it's a frightening story if you step back and really analyze what's happening. And it has to do with CNN, but not really. It has to do with freedom. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So the uh, boss in charge of CNN is a guy named Chris Licht. And he did the Colbert show, the CBS Morning Show. And he's in there about 14 months and they whack him today. They fire him. All right. And uh, he was hired by Warner Brothers Discovery, the parent company of CNN, to move the network from a left wing operation to a more moderate presentation. And he was hired, as I said, 14 months ago. He couldn't do it. All right. The culture is too ingrained left. He fired Don Lemon. He fired a bunch of other people who were fanatical leftists, but he alienated people by doing that. Now, Lick's boss, the guy who whacked him, is named David Zaslav. All right. He's the CEO of Warner Discovery. Since 2018, he has, in compensation, received $500 million. You're looking at $500 million there. With taxes and all of that, he lives in California, I think. So he walks away with about $230 million in that range. Um, so he fires um, Licht and hires a woman to take his place, and I'll tell you about her in a moment. But why exactly was Chris Licht fired? Because of Donald Trump. So on May 10th, as everybody knows, CNN had a town hall with former President Trump. It got good ratings, much, much better than they usually do because their ratings are terrible, CNN, and have been for years. Now, that alone could have gotten Lick fired, but you don't fire somebody in 14 months when you're trying to turn a whole operation around. you got to give them about two years, um, to be fair. But once Trump appeared on CNN in that forum, the far left mobilized against Licht. It's very important that you understand that. So, here are, in a coordinated assassination um, profile, the media companies that each, each of them did a hit piece on Licht after the Trump town hall. The Atlantic Magazine. New York Magazine, Los Angeles Times, Axios, Vanity Fair, Huffington Post, New York Times, Washington Post, Slate, Politico, Rolling Stone Magazine, The Hollywood Reporter, NPR, The Guardian, The Daily Beast, Salon, The Nation, New Republic, Boston Globe, Seattle Times. Okay, so they each did individual hit jobs on Lick. That's not a coincidence. This was well coordinated. And that is the point I want to get across to you this evening. There is no corresponding coordination on the right in conservative precincts in this country. But the far left controls corporate media. And the message that they just sent because Lick was fired today to Every single media mogul is if you benefit Donald Trump, if you don't shun him, we're coming after you. That is the message. Now, they did that when I left Fox News, so I know exactly what's happening here. And some people were courageous, like Sean Hannity and others, and allowed me a forum but most did not, because this cabal basically threatened them. You put O'Reilly on, you let him say anything, we're coming after you. Okay? So I know what I'm talking about here, because I went through it. Now, how does this work? It works because of Saul Alinsky. Remember that name? Saul Alinsky was a communist, and he developed a uh, 
program called Rules for Radicals. Number 13 in Rules for Radicals is, quote, pick the target, freeze it, personalize it, and polarize it. And that's what they did to Chris Lick. Okay? Day in and day out, they denigrated him. Now, this same crew that we just put up on the screen and I read on the radio so you could hear the names, pretty much has marginalized the Fox News Channel with the help of Fox News Channel management. Management just caved in, just like CNN management did with Fire and Lick. But again, Lick didn't really perform. The ratings uh, at CNN have been terrible for years. They had to do something. All right. But Fox News ratings were spectacular when I was there. And last quarter, I was averaging almost four million people watching at eight and another two, two and a half and 11. Nobody's ever going to come close to that again. But the cabal is more powerful than the economic profile. And the cabal has been after Fox News for decades. And finally, because of circumstances, um, Fox News has been marginalized. Okay? Cabal dancing on that grave there. And they're not coming back, by the way. They'll beat CNN and MSNBC because nobody watches either of them. Now, you know, you know, MSNBC, maybe a million people, CNN, a half million. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing. The network that's really benefited from all this is Newsmax. They have added um, a lot of viewers in prime time. Now, the woman who's taking uh, Chris Lick's place at CNN, temporarily, they say, is named Amy Antillis. I worked with her at ABC News for two years. Um, she is a liberal woman, Vassar College, Columbia University, got a master's in uh, journalism. Um, not a raving left-wing loon, a corporate type, but she will allow the culture at CNN to go back to its left wing. See, it was impossible for Lick to change anything because all of the people at CNN on the air, and I mean 100% of them, are liberal people. There aren't any conservatives or even moderates on the air in that network. So it would be like asking me, say I uh, was working for somebody, and I am a traditional independent. That's what I am. Some people say conservative, but I can give you 10 um, core beliefs that I hold that are not conservative. So that's hooey. I'm traditional. I'm independent. That would be like an executive walking into me and saying, O'Reilly, you're going to be woke from now on on the air. <laughs> it's not happening. I, would, I mean, I'd walk right out the door, but a lot of people need the paychecks. But you can't come into CNN and say, yeah, you're going to be more moderating because they're all looking at you. Oh, no, we're liberal. That's who we are. And we've always been that way, and we're always going to remain that way. And that's why Lick couldn't move it. He couldn't move the dial. All right? But, again, the importance of this story is that this cabal is so powerful on the far left and well-financed and well-coordinated, okay, that they have intimidated every single media company in this country. You don't, you give Trump a forum coming after you. Now, that doesn't apply to the conservative networks, but any other network, ABC, NBC, all the morning shows, all the late night shows, everything. Trump is to be shunned. That's what they're going to do in the 24 campaign. And that is the memo. If you have any questions about any part of the memo, and I can back it all up 100%, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. And remember, this affects you directly because the news coverage in this country is undeniably slanted left. And people who don't follow the news hear all of this. You go against that tide in corporations You'll get what Chris Lick got. You are probably paying too much for your Medicare supplement, especially if your plan is through the liberal AARP. 
Folks, there is an alternative, AMAC. Their Medicare advisory service is the gold standard of quality. They offer plans from dozens of insurers. And you'll get the right plan at an affordable price without all the woke nonsense. The licensed, experienced advisors at AMAC are dedicated to answering your Medicare questions, explaining your options, and helping you choose a plan that suits your health needs and your budget. But what really makes them special is their values, faith, family, and freedom. Don't get caught up in the confusion of Medicare. Your consultation with a knowledgeable AMAC advisor is free of any financial commitment or leftist agenda. So you can visit them today, and I hope you do, amac.com US slash trust. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S forward slash T-R-U-S-T trust. Okay, let's go to the mail. We got Rick Romdeni in Argyle, Wisconsin. Hey, Bill, are we witnessing Woodrow Wilson with Joe Biden? The real question, who are the people actually controlling his presidency? And Jesse Kelly just uh, just named a few of them. Rice is gone. Ron Klain is gone. But it's the same kind of people, you know, very far left committed. And they just tell Biden what to do. They write his speeches and he reads them. And that's what's happening there. Ruth broke in Israel, Jordan Valley. Ruth says, I can understand why most of the Republican candidates um, have no chance of winning, but want to become fairly famous so they can be considered as vice president. But why has Pence gone in? I think Pence... All of them have one thing in common. They think that Trump might be derailed by all this legal stuff. Everybody's signing up to run for president on a Republican ticket. It's, look, we can't beat Trump outright, but if they take him out legally, then the field is open. And I think that's what Pence is considering. Kathleen Williams, Sumter, South Carolina, where the Civil War started. Hey, Bill, does Mitch McConnell get credit for the fact that Merrick Garland is not on the Supreme Court. Absolutely. McConnell blocked, as you remember, Merrick Garland's uh, nomination to the Supreme Court. So the turtle gets credit. Jillian, our message board, 79 years ago today, American Allied soldiers embarked upon a great crusade, the invasion of France to free Europe from Nazi tyranny. When I think of the sacrifices made that day, my father-in-law was wounded on Utah Beach, and look at what the country is now, my heart is grieved. A lot of uh, traditional people feel that same way, Jillian. Even 10, 15 years ago, we could, this radical left stuff wouldn't have been in the marketplace. It is troubling, no doubt about it. Glenda, I wish you would ask Stephen A. Smith where he draws the line with regard to live and let live. I feel the same way. I'm a Christian and I hate all the woke transgender stuff, but I do not hate transgender people. I do hate what they are trying to indoctrinate children. Not all of them, but the children thing is worrying. You got to protect the kids. They should not be indoctrinated. Pat, concierge member, Bill, good advice today about bringing um, stress levels down during the summer. Like you, I read and exercise on a daily basis. You know, the crucial thing to do to de-stress yourself is to stay off the roads. There are too many crazy, there are a lot of crazy drivers out there. There are. I see them, boy. Carol, concierge member, I love to take a long walk down to the lake while listening to the no spin news. There you go. But sometimes I agitate you. I know I do. I don't do it on purpose, but anybody with strong opinions is going to be agitation sometime. But I'm glad you got the nice lake out there, Carl. Okay, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town if you wish to opine. Let's go to Father's Day. We have been telling you that for $89, you can get a premium membership for dad or granddad for the entire year, plus all this stuff for Team Noble, a hat and the mug and the bumper stickers free. Fabulous deal. Best I can do. And then if dad's a reader, Killing the Legends, Killing Mob Together, 18 bucks. You're not going to find it lower anywhere else in the world. Killing Crazy Horse, United States of Trump Together, 18 bucks. That's 36 bucks for four books if you want them all. And that is a fabulous deal. Now, I get a lot of letters saying, why don't you make the word of the day more positive sometimes? It's not as fun. 
but I will today. I want you all to be perspicacious. P-E-R-S-P-I-C-A-C-I-O-U-S. I hope you are perspicacious. Back with a final thought in a moment. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. So here is the final thought of the day. Um, One of the troubling things about American life is that we have so many bad parents. Now, a little background here. Uh, My parents controlled my life for about 17 years, a little bit more. Uh, when I reached the age of 17 and I had a, a, an old jalopy that I could drive around, it was a Nash, a little box car. <laughs> I called it the white whale. It was great. Once that happened, I was on my own, essentially, which was fine with me. But my parents are traditional folks. They were way out of their league as Depression and World War II people. And then when the late 60s hit, they had no idea what was happening. And it was way beyond their scope. Um, but I had traditional upbringing, particularly my father uh, in the financial realm. And, you know, when you're in the house, you absorb. I didn't have any crazy conduct in my house, no drinking, drugs, no uh, denigrating minorities. That didn't, this didn't happen. All right. We lived a very conventional working class existence. So my parents were aces and I did my duty as a son And I helped them in my adulthood as much as I could possibly help them. That's my duty. That's your duty. So anyway, there are a lot of bad parents. And I knew some of them. I could see some of my friends getting the hell kicked out of them. All right? And for no reason. My father did hit me around a little too much, but toughened me up. Um, There's a line. And uh, if you have a bad parent and you're a child, that psychologically scars you forever. And you can see it. The prisons are full of people with derelict parents, parents who are addicted to substance. They're brutal. They're violent. They're not present. They're gone. You don't have a young boy without a father. I was a big brother in a family where the father was as irresponsible as I had ever seen. I had three. Okay. I know I helped them, particularly the two boys. Um, but there are a lot of bad, bad parents. Government can't do anything about it. And we're seeing it more and more and more and more as the kids act out and commit crimes, become violent, become antisocial, sell drugs, become addicted to drugs, whatever it may be. And again, government can't do it. It can't intrude on the parenting. So when you think about what's happening in this country, be a good parent and grandparent, all right? Be kind, but be honest. The kids will respond to that. That is a final thought. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.